let's build a Dutch windmill. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is cut out the windmill body. And you'll need six pieces that you'll cut from three quarter inch plywood to make this six sided windmill body. So we'll start by laying out our pieces on this sheet of plywood. We'll measure over 12 inches down 36 from the top and we'll and we'll mark out this rectangle. Next we'll measure over from the edge 6 inches and mark where our center line is on that rectangle. So make a mark at each end. Well, we're going to cut this shape out right here and at this end it's 11 inches wide and at the top end it's 5 inches wide. So the way we do this is start at the center and go out five and a half this way, make a mark, five and a half that way, make a mark, go down to the other end at the center and go over two and a half, make a mark, two and a half and make a mark. Now you'll connect those, those marks so that you have that shape right there to cut out. And this will be your pattern. Now you'll set your circular saw at 30 degrees and saw these long cuts right here this one and that one at the top it's a straight cut and they they angle in your 30 degree angles in this is a straight cut at the bottom too now after you have that cut out that's your pattern and you lay it down like this and and trace around it and then lay it the other way and trace around it and then the other way and do that across there until you have uh, six of those total and then you're going to cut them all out. Okay, so we'll get started here. First I'll measure over 36 inches and I'll draw a straight line down through there so that we can lay out all six these sections that are going to make up the uh, windmill body. Okay, now I'm going to lay out the first one. And this is at the end where it's 11 inches wide. So I'll count over five and a half from the center, make a mark, now there's the center, one, two, three, four, five and a half, and make a mark. Now we'll go down to the other end, and we'll, we'll find that center mark right there. And this is the five inch wide, so we go two and a half inches each side of that center. And then when we connect our, our lines here, this this will be symmetrical so you only have to do this on one on this first one because you're going to use this as a template all right now i'm cutting this is a straight cut here down that uh that line that i measured over 36 inches now i'll set the saw at 30 degrees because i'm going to cut those long those long cuts so there's the 30 degree mark. Get our saw locked down and here we go. Now you see how that's angled in. So we'll cut down this side and then we'll turn around and go back. And uh, that's angled in that way. Now this one has to be angled that way. And so here we go. And you're gonna go real easy Make sure you make a, a nice straight cut because, again, this is going to be the template for all the rest of them. Okay, there's our, there's our pattern. You can see those angles. And so now we're going to lay it on on the plywood. Now there's where we cut it out. Now if I was just to take that and lay it down like that, you'd have all of that right there would be waste. And that's why we, we flip it around and line it up on both ends and take our pencil and uh, trace down along there. Now flip it around the other way and leave a little gap in between each of your pieces. I think you can see what I'm doing there. So there we go. I broke my good camera, so I'm using my backup camera 
the quality probably isn't as good. But anyway, <clears throat> this is uh, got five of these all laid out on there, and by switching them around each way to do the layout, the only waste you have is this little strip. So it makes good use of your plywood. So now it's just a matter of going down through and cutting out all these five pieces. And you just keep track of uh, which way you're supposed to be going on those lines. So that when it gets all done, you've got your six pieces like this. And they'll fit right together in a circle. Now you probably wonder how I got that 30 degrees. Um, a circle contains 360 degrees and we want six pieces to go around this circle. And so if you divide 360 by six, you get 60. 60 degrees. So I'll go ahead and mark my six pieces on this circle here. And then I'll connect a line here so you can see what the uh, windmill's body is going to look like. And then each one, that, that's 30 degrees, and that one there is 30. So that gives you your 60. It makes a 60 degree turn right there. So 30 degrees and 30 degrees, there's 60 times 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that gives you 360 degrees. It's time to run the vacuum cleaner. So we've got this walkway right there. So we've got to cut this each one of these uh, pieces off so that we can nail that down. Okay, so we're going to measure up 8 inches. I just sort of picked that number randomly. It makes the walkway be up at about a nice a nice height on the windmill I think and so we're going to do this to all six of these pieces that we just cut out and then we'll cut those all off the Dutch windmills all have this tapered windmill body design in common but after that there are so many different designs and they're all beautiful and so you can use your own judgment as to as how you want to design your windmill so there we go, that top section is what's going to sit on the walkway. Okay, so here's our walkway, and right there's the top section, and then we cut off in the bottom section. So that, that top section is going to sit on top of that. I usually start by nailing the walkway to the lower section, and then I set the top on and, and get that on. So the next step here is to glue this thing up. And so uh, this is pretty tricky, this part, because of those tapers. When you go to uh, put it together, it's uh, you got to hold <laughs> hold all the parts together uh, at the same time and and try to get a nail in there to hold hold this thing together. You'll see what I mean. But right now we'll smooth this glue out. A little bit of this gorilla glue again. That's it's good stuff. So here we go. I've got three sections put together there you can see and I just put a little bit of glue down the center of that section and then with the uh, the section that I just put the glue on when I put them both together there's plenty of glue there and as that dries it expands and uh, makes a real good bond so you can see oh, I've got it together there what I figured out is if I take a little small drill bit and drill through where I'm going to uh, want my nail to go, when I go to start the nail in there, I can get it in there straight and, and get these two pieces together. I usually put a, a nail at the bottom and one at the top and then work myself around the, the whole windmill and after I get it all all the pieces on, I go back and add more nails. So there we go. I've got uh, all six pieces together. And I'm going to add a couple more nails here. 
by drilling first and getting those nails in there. Then I go around with, with just the nail and I add a bunch of them and try to pull this thing together so that the seams are real tight. So there's the windmill body, the upper section. I still have to glue the lower section together. I think before I call it quits for the evening, I'll go ahead and uh, lay this out on my plywood. You can see that upper wind, windmill body and the lower over on the left there. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's a good day to continue on with the windmill. And so I'm uh, getting ready to cut out this walkway. I decided I wanted to be a four inch walkway around this windmill body. And so I'll get it marked out and then cut it out. All right, so I'll show you how this thing goes together. We'll set our walkway down on that bottom piece. And then the top piece just sits on there like that. So next we've got to connect all this together. So I'll need to screw that walkway down on top of that lower section. And then on the bottom I plan to put a 2x4 treated piece of 2x4 all the way around where it sits on the ground. Okay, this is the bottom. And if you try to attach your 2x4 to that little piece of plywood there, it's not a very good way to attach it. And so I'm going to add these blocks which will uh, give me another thickness of plywood there all the way around on each section. I'll put a block there. That'll give an inch and a half to nail the uh, plywood to. And so I'll also uh, put these blocks down on the other end. I'll flip this thing over and put them down there because that's where the uh, walkway attaches. Just gives more to nail to. And so the first step is to rip these pieces and I'm going to put a seven and a half degree bevel in there so that uh, when I lay it up here on the uh, lower section and then you put your two by four across or whatever you're going to do there it'll it'll lay flat right across this uh, whole bottom piece you see what I mean there and so that's why there's that bevel in there all right so we'll get busy and we'll get all these blocks glued on here and uh, just about ran out of glue on that one And I clamp them on. It helps, helps to hold them there while I put a couple screws in. So I put those blocks all the way around so that I can attach the 2x4s for the bottom. Then I flip it over and put the blocks on so that I can attach the walkway. Now you have to have a way of knowing where to nail down through there so you can hit those pieces. And a quick way that I found is just to drill down through on these corners. And then when you flip the piece over, you can just take a straight edge and, and connect those spots where the, the holes are. Of course, you could have just measured in uh, four inches from the outside. We know it's a four inch walkway, but now we're just going to drill down right there. But this is a fast way to do it. That's the reason I do it. Now, I stick these nails down through. I drill a hole and stick the nails down through. And this is the way I can line this thing up when I apply the glue. Then you don't wind up getting glue all over the all over the piece while you're trying to jostle it around and get it lined up. So after you get this glue on there, you just, just kind of want to set that piece right down on it. And uh, by putting that nail down through, you can set the nail right in the hole and set the other nail in the hole. And you know you're all lined up. That's just a little trick that I learned along the way to be able to line up a piece underneath that you can't see. Well, the next step, we've got this bottom now, and the next step is to be able to attach it to this top piece. And so I've cut these uh, beveled pieces again 
and screwed them to the inside there so I have lots of area to connect this thing. And so it's going to sit right down there. I've got that, that red line around there so I know where to set that piece. So now we'll just apply our glue and when we set it down we can look at the red big red line you have underneath there that we drew earlier so that this uh, upper and lower piece will line up and if you need to adjust it rather than trying to push it if you just take a hammer and, and tap on it you can get it to move just a little bit at a time that way you won't wind up with glue all over again so that pretty much wraps up the making of the windmill body and I've made three of these and so in the next video, video number two I'll show you how I make the windmill sails and attach it to the windmill so here's a link that you can click to go directly to that uh, second video we'll see you over there everybody Thanks for watching.